Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vineet and today we will learn how to use a scale widget in Python Tkinter. We will start with the overview of a scale and then we will learn how to use scale widget with examples. Scale widget allows to select specific values from the range of values. The slider on the scale allows to slide between the values in right or left or up down direction. So in this image you can see that this is a vertical slider or scale and this is a horizontal scale. This is the syntax to create the scale widget in Python Tkinter. First of all you have to mention the scale with capital S and then the name of the window on which you want to place it. It could be a parent window or child window. From is the starting value of your uh, slider. Then two is the end value. Tick interval is the how much gap you want like uh, it will display a scale and on the scale uh, whatever the value you will provide here it will jump accordingly. So in this case if it is 2 then the next value will be 4 and then 6 then 8 and so on. Orientation decides whether it will be in a vertical position or in a horizontal position. Command this will require a function name or you can also create an anonymous function or lambda function over here. So whenever the slider will be slided, the, this function will be triggered. Label is the text written on the scale. So whatever text you want to display with the slider, you can uh, show it. Variable is equal to var. So uh, there are two ways of creating a variable. One is using this var uh, variable equals to var, where var will be declared, declared as in, with uh, int var or string var or boolean var. So you have to already define it on the top, then you can use this. Other method is you can create a variable over here. You can just uh, mention any name and then uh, using the same name, you can just pack it. So these are the real world examples for the scale widget. The first one is the volume. So you can just see it over right over here. This is the widget that you can slide in the uh, right and left direction to adjust your volume. Other than that, the other application that uses the scale widget is the open volume mixture so if you will open that you can see that we have lots of sliders available over here then we have uh, if you will open word pad, word or word pad there also you can see the slider screen that you can adjust so with this we have completed the theoretical part of that now let's go ahead and implement whatever we have learned so far so i have already written the code over here and i will explain you step by step but before that let me go ahead and run this application So this is the simple application to project scale widget. In this application, you can see that there is a scale widget with a slider on it and there is one label at the bottom of the screen. So every time you are changing the position of the slider on the scale, the number is changing. So right now we are on the six. That's why it is displaying six over here. So if I'll do it a little faster, still it will work perfectly. So we will learn how to create this application. Also you can notice few things over here. You are seeing that it says 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. This is the scale value. Now let me go ahead and sh show you how I have created this thing. So first of all I have created scale with capital S. This is the uh, word that you have to use. And then the master screen is going to be WS. You can provide any uh, if you have any child screen and you want to create this slider on the child window then you can do the you can mention the name of that child window over here from is zero so in this case you can see uh, we have provided from equals to zero that's why the value is zero over here then two is the end last value so last value is 20 as we have provided 20 over here then the le length is 600 you can provide any length to this application and then uh, tick interval is two so tick interval is the scale value so here you can see that it's a, it says 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Each value has a gap of 2. So if I'll just change it to 4. Then you can see now the gap is 0, 4, 8, 12. So the gap is for 4 now. Horizontal. Orient is equal to horizontal. There are two options. You can set either in horizontal or in vertical. Horizontal is like this one and the vertical is this like this. So let me go ahead and change it to the vertical. So now the uh, scale widget is appearing in the vertical position. And here is the output appearing at the bottom of the screen. Now next is the command. 
command keyword accepts the function name or you can uh, provide the lambda function over here so lambda function is an anonymous function that that creates a function that can be used for one time so here you can see uh, val we have provided as a parameter then var dot set and scale dot get so every time you have to fetch the value from the so every time you have to fetch the value from the scale widget so you have to use dot get function and dot set function sets the default value so uh, let me com comment this thing and this was uh, this is how we can use the anonymous function with scale and this is how we can use the normal function so i have created the same thing on the top i have taken a val as an uh, argument and then where dot set i have printed a little message over here which says slider is at this and then the scale dot get wherever the slider is at the at the current moment that uh, information will be fetched and displayed over here displayed on the label where dot set where is the uh, variable name for the label that we have created and uh, we are setting the value on the label so this was the brief information about the scale now let's go ahead and uh, understand the entire code first of all i have imported everything from tkinter then i have created a instance for tk object with the name ws and then i have uh, created a ws can be treated treated as a parent window and then i have uh, created a title for the window which is python guides so this is the title python guides then geometry is 400 and 200 this is the 400 is the width and 200 is the height ws.config uh, we have used to configure the background color so background color is uh, it's a light blue then we have uh, created a scale using the scale widget then we have placed a scale widget so scale then master is ws start length so this part i have already explained the other way of doing the same thing is i can also uh, create a variable equals to where one since i already have where uh, variable with the name var so i have to define it so var1 equals to you can provide integer or now i don't need to uh, create a variable over here it will work now so i can just simply go ahead and do this way so every time i have to uh, set any value or i have to fetch any value i can use var1 instead of that variable name so here i can just mention var1 and it will work perfectly so here you can see that after creating the scale widget i have created another variable for the label and here's the label i have put it on the same window that is ws then the text variable i have using as var which i have created right over here the geometry manager that i am using is pack and i am putting it at the bottom of the window and at the end we are starting the main loop so that we can uh, see the screen so that the screen keeps on appearing simultaneously so this is how we can create the scale widget in python tkinter if you uh, like the video, if, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.